What up wrestling world, it's your boy Heel Steven. I am back with a new video. In this video, what I'm gonna do is give you guys my thoughts on the big news that happened today regarding the main event of WrestleMania 31 and the possible changes that could be happening to the main event of WrestleMania 31. So, the news came out early in the day. I wasn't able to make a video on it early in the day because I was at school and after school I had to go to work. So here I am making the video now, giving my thoughts on the possible changes that could be happening to the main event of WrestleMania 31. So, word is going out that Vince McMahon wants to change the main event from a one-on-one -on -one match between Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns to now a triple threat match between Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns now versus Daniel Bryan. Now, I read a report a while back that said that WWE was not going to have another triple threat match main event like they did last year, and they were not going to cater to the fans. Now, here they are catering to the fans. It turns out that Vince McMahon has been listening. Yeah, it's hard to believe, right? He's been listening to the crowd reaction and how people are going crazy still for Daniel Bryan. This is my thoughts overall. Do I see Daniel Bryan winning? No, but then again, if he does, he does. This is them saying, okay, IWC, we're going to give you what you want. We're going to have Bryan in the main event, but he's not going to win. Now, if he does win, so be it. But how do I book this? How do I make the transition, if you will, to a triple threat match? Here's what you do at Fastlane, okay? It will be very predictable if you have a run-in in the match between Daniel Bryan and Roman Reigns. Like someone from the authority comes out and attacks him. No, that's predictable. Here what you do, have them go at it and go something similar that happened years ago between Kurt Angle and The Undertaker. It was 2002, a SmackDown episode where they had a match for the championship. And in the match, Kurt Angle locks The Undertaker in a triangle choke. And mind you, while he had Taker in the hold, his shoulders were down and the referee counted one, two, and he was going for three, Undertaker tapped out. And there was controversy on who won the match. Was it Kurt Angle? Was it The Undertaker? Go somewhere similar to that, where, I don't know, have Brian lock Reigns in the chokehold or something. And then, you know, one, two, three, and then the third account, Reigns tapped out and into this controversy. Who won the match? Daniel Bryan or Roman Reigns? That's how I would do it if I'm booking this. But then again, that's me, of course. But at the end of the day, yes, they're going to have Daniel Bryan in the main event. But I don't see him winning, to be honest. That's my take on that, of course. But then again, who knows, right? Right now, I'm probably saying this. And for all we know, WWE can change their minds once again and make it once again a one-on-one -on -one match between Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns. That's my take on this overall. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section of this video. You can follow me on Twitter at HeelSteven. Hit this video with a like. And as always, hate, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, I'm Heel Steven. And I'll catch you all later in the next video. I'm out. Peace.